Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to install AVP on an S8300 server and AVP stands for a via virtualization platform. AVP runs on VMware technology and for those who are used to installing system platform on an S8300 server you should find this process simple. Let's go ahead and get started. The software we're going to require is the Avaya Appliance Virtualization Platform 7.1.3.4 a 7.1.3.4 kickstart file and system manager running 7.1.3.4 in order to create the kickstart file. If you don't have access to system manager running 7.1.3.4, you can download the software deployment manager client application or SDM client for short. The tools we're going to use is a USB stick for our kickstart file a blank DVD rewritable disk to burn our AVP ISO image and a USB DVD ROM. Log on to your system manager and once logged in, navigate to services, then click on solution deployment manager. Then click on VN management. Next, click on generate AVP kickstart. This will take you to the Create AVP Kickstart configuration screen. Under Choose AVP version, choose 7.1. I'm only going to use IPv4 IP address, so I'm going to uncheck Dual Stack Setup. If you are using IPv6 in your environment, proceed to populate your IPv6 network information. Next, proceed to populate your network information. Input your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, domain name, NTP server, and DNS server. Under public VLAN ID, make sure to populate the VLAN ID your G450 or your G430 is using. In my case, I'm using the default VLAN ID of 1. Then populate your admin password and once complete, click on generate kickstart file. Once your file is generated, save your file to your desired location. If you're not running System Manager 7.1 or if you don't have access to System Manager, you can download the software deployment client application from Avaya Downloads. Once your Software Deployment Manager client application has been installed on your PC, open your application. This will open a window on your web browser and it will take you directly onto your SDM client dashboard. Once here, click on VM Management. Then click on Generate AVP Kickstart. This will take you to the Create AVP Kickstart configuration window. And here you can populate your network information and click on Generate Kickstart file when done. Next, I'm going to transfer the Kickstart file to a USB drive. The file has been transferred and now I'm going to burn my AVP ISO to a DVD disk. I'm going to right click on my AVP ISO. Then I'm going to click on burn disk image. Next I'm going to click on burn. The AVP ISO was burned to the DVD disk and now I have connected my USB drive and USB DVD ROM to my S8300. At this moment, I have the S8300 board pulled out of the socket, and once I push it in, the S8300 server will boot to the USB drive, and then the AVP ISO will be loaded via the USB DVD ROM. I'm going to start by pushing the S8300 all the way in. The reboot has started and at this point give it about 20 minutes to complete the process. Once it's complete, your DVD ROM should eject the DVD disk. It's been about 20 minutes and the DVD ROM has ejected the disk. This means that the AVP installation has completed. I'm going to remove the USB drive and unplug the USB DVD ROM. It took about 20 minutes for the DVD ROM to eject the CD. Then it took about another 5 minutes before I could ping the server. Then it took another 5 minutes before the S8300 was accessible. One thing to point out when you do your AVP installation is that there will be times during the installation where it looks like nothing is happening. 
Just be patient and remember that the AVP installation is not complete till the DVD-ROM ejects the disk. And then you have to give it another 10 minutes before you can access your AVP. In order to access your AVP, open a web browser and type the IP address of your AVP, then forward slash UI. This will bring up the VMware login screen. For username, use the admin account. And for password, use the password you created during the kickstart file creation. Then click login. We are now logged in to our AVP server and this completes our tutorial. Today we created our kickstart file by using our system manager and we also burned our AVP ISO to a DVD disk. Then we connected our USB stick containing our kickstart file and our USB DVD ROM to our SA300 server and installed AVP. If you found this video helpful, I would love to hear from you. Please leave me your comments below and make sure to hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos.